Here it's me again, Mojo Medium, a.k.a. Susan Morrow Johnson. Find me on the web at Mojo Medium. You know what? I've got to tell you, um, I just went back and loved on all the comments of the Mojo show that I did a few minutes ago here on this page, which if you didn't see it, you can go check it out. And several people asked something about their love life. One person was uh, uh, breaking up and very broken up about it. Uh, one person was saying, you know, will this thing go well with my love life, you know, with my person. And there were other questions along those lines. I want to address all of that right now. Now, you can certainly get a reading with, with me, a private reading, and we'll talk about your love life and so forth. Um, but I want to give you some tips okay if you will and these are partly psychic and partly just from me having a lot of experience and just think of me as a good friend giving you advice that may or may not be what you, worth what you pay for it so um, here's here's the deal it took me a long time to learn this um, but I figured it this out I will never again want someone who doesn't want me I will never waste my precious time and energy and my beautiful heart on a man who is not as interested in me as I am in him. I will not pursue someone or pine away for someone who left me. He does not value me and I value myself. So, like I said, it took me a long time to learn this. I was in my 40s when I got dumped after seven years. And I wanted to marry this man, and he left me to marry the woman he was cheating on me with. So, I could have totally fallen apart. But fortunately, I tend to have prescience, right? And I knew that this was okay. I was very sad, don't get me wrong. I was really sad and really disappointed, but I was not broken by it. I was not destroyed by it. And the reason is that I figured it out. Oh, he never did want to marry me. Why didn't I? Why did I ever want to marry him? I should have left him after two years. That's long enough for anyone to determine that they love someone and that they want to be together forever. So, uh, think about that first of all and think about that in your current relationship if you have one I think about that with my husband he wants me as much as I want him maybe more I want him as much as he wants me maybe more so we are in a mutual loving securing relationship doesn't keep me from being insecure. It doesn't keep me from worrying about, you know, oh, he's really mad after this fight. Now he's going to leave me, you know, or, or maybe I'm really mad and I'm going to leave him. It doesn't stop me from worrying about those things. But I am secure in the notion, in the knowledge that I will never give my heart and my precious time and energy to someone who does not hold me in the same regard that I hold him. It's really, really important. And I found out also, it took me a while to learn this, you know, my first husband died when I was 31 and I had kind of a rebound marriage. I, I turned around and married someone pretty quick. Uh, it was just under a year. And it, I married a man I had known for five years before my husband died. We were friends, we worked together. I knew him and I thought I knew him pretty well and we let him love and we got married. It lasted about two years. So when I divorced him, I realized, wow, I'd much rather be single. I'd much rather be a full-time working single mom widow than be married to somebody that I'm not meant to be with. I'd rather be single forever than be with the wrong man. Okay, I want you to think about this and let this sink in because it is all too easy for us as women, especially in this society, in our, the way that we are culturally shaped is to believe that we have to be part of a couple. After the seven year man dumped me for the woman he was cheating on me with, I was single for seven years, seven and a half years. Yeah. I mean, I hardly even dated. I went out a few times. It was really 
was almost single that whole time. And I was perfectly, totally happy being single. And sometimes, don't tell my husband, but sometimes I want to be single again for just a little while. So when he wants to go visit his son out of state, I'm like, go with my blessing. Get out and let me be single for a while. Now, there are obviously lots of great reasons to be in a loving relationship. And I'm delighted to be married to my husband right now. Absolutely delighted. If he left me tomorrow, I would not be broken by it. Why? Because if he decides that he doesn't want me anymore, I immediately do not want him either. Just in principle. Now, it's hard to turn off your heart, that's true, but if you think about it logically, the heart will follow, okay? Okay, so um, somebody else asked about feeling their mother around them, and so if you, if you are feeling uh, the presence of a late loved one, uh, go with it. I always say, if it means something to you, it means something to you. And getting back to the relationship thing, if you suspect your spouse or significant other of something, some kind of behavior that you don't want them engaging in, ask them about it, confront them, look at it realistically, and know that you deserve better. You deserve better. I didn't know the seven-year man was cheating on me, or I would have left him. I would definitely have walked away, because I, 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 don't, I don't do that. Mm -mm. So, there you go. Love yourself. Love yourself and value yourself enough to let it go. It is better, I promise, it's better to be single than with the wrong man. To be with someone who doesn't love you, doesn't treat you right, doesn't respect you, doesn't respect your feelings, doesn't care that you're afraid he'll leave you. You deserve better. You're worthy. You are worthy of better. You are worthy of good. Trust me. I know. I'm Mojo. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon.